Hello viewers and welcome to the second video of the three-part video series on how to create a centralized user management using Kerberos, OpenLDAP and Dynafis. So in this video we will be creating the OpenLDAP server and I will be doing that on VM01. So all the servers, the Kerberos, the OpenLDAP, the NFS will be in VM01. So I have logged into my VM01. Here I will install some uh, OpenLDAP server package. So open LDAP servers is the main server package, but we also need two package open LDAP clients, which will give me the command line utility for LDAP. And we also need a package called migration tools, which is going to provide me some Perl scripts, uh, which will allow me to convert the text uh, files to LDAP file format, which is understood by LDAP. Enter. That's installed. The first thing I want to do is copy the dbconfig file to the ldap directory. So let's do that. To var lib ldap as tb underscore config. And I want to change the ownership to ldap of var lib ldap. If I do ls minus ld var lib ldap. So that's it. The next thing we have to do is go inside etc open ldab slap d dot d and cn equals config. In here, we have to edit three files 0, 1, and 2. So let's edit these files. So if you take a look at this file, vi to olc database 0 config. So in here, we have to create first an admin password and pass that password here. So for that, I will put out this. I will use the command slap password. Give the password. And copy this. Okay. Now I will open this file. Go to the end of this file. OLC root password. Paste it. That's it, save and quit. VI OLC database 1 monitor.ldf. In here, we have to change this DC equals to local and my domain to home. So my domain is home.local. So that's DC equal home and DC equal local. So that's domain controller. The last file is OLC database 2 hdb.ldf. In here, I will first come down here and OLC root password. I will paste that SHA hash here and change my domain DC equals uh, this to DC equals home and DC equals local. Cool, that's it. And also I want to create some ACLs, so I will go to the end of this file, OLC, access, 0, two, star, attributes,
So I have basically defined who can access what and who cannot access and all that. That's it for this file. Yes, save and quit. And let's take a look at this one. Cool, nothing here. To this and that's it. Save and quit. Now let's go and test if our changes slap test minus u or u back configuration file. So it says that we have some errors. So let's take a look at that. Um, zero config. Yes, good. One. Um, nothing in here. In htv dot elif. Okay, so here's the problem. That's a colon, not l. Let's check it again. Cool. So that's succeeded. So. It's giving me a checksum error because I have modified it manually. I could have done it using the LDAP admin, the GUI, but just for the quickness, I just edited it manually. Okay, so let's start the slap the service. Cool, so that's started. Now I want to go inside etc open lab and schemas and in here I want to add some schemas so I will add cosine nis and inert arc person these three schemas I will add so as you see they have provided this ld file so I have to basically add this ld file to ldap database so let's do that ldap add minus y external minus h which is for localhost and minus f cosine dot elif that's added nis dot elif that's added inet arc person dot elif cool so we have added the schemas so we are basically creating a structure inside our lab database now i will go inside my home directory in here I will create a file as base.ldef and basically I want to create a structure here so let me uh, copy and paste it because I have already done that paste so there you go this is a basic structure I have created so this is my listing this name this is my domain controller which is home.local and this is my organization which is home.local in here I have created two organizational units one is people and another one is group so that's the basic structure i have created so let's save and quit and i will add this file to ldap database so ldap add minus x minus t domain is cn equals manager dc equals home dc equals local minus w that will ask me for the password and minus f base dot elif cool so i have added that to my ldap database now if i do an ldap search and instead of minus f if i do minus p and give my domain controller there you go we have this organization and this is the organizational unit people and group cool so we have created basically a structure inside our ldap directory service now we want to add some users to that so let's do that so i will add some users note i won't give any password to these users because we will be creating this password in the Kerberos for user authentication. Okay. Grab demo user from etc password. So this is my user information. I will dump that to slash temp slash users. And also I will grab demo user from etc group. And I will dump that to slash temp slash groups. 
So if you remember, we have installed a migration tools package which will give me some Perl scripts. So it is installed under user share migration tools and if I do ls here, so these are all the Perl scripts. But before that, we have to uh, edit this file. So let's do that. We are migrate common.ph. Here search for padl and change it to your domain. Home. Also for email. Um, in here. Home dot local and change this extended schemas to one. That's it. Save and quit. Now we are ready to use this script. So I will first use these passwords for my users and group for the group. So migrate password. Uh, the syntax is you have to first pass the file which you want to convert and then type the converted name file. So that's the syntax dot slash migrate group slash temp groups slash temp groups dot ldf so there you go so now if i go to my temp directory and let's take a look at groups file you see it has automatically created me an ldf file cool so let's add this ldf files to ldap database ldap add minus x minus capital D for the domain cn equals manager dc equals home dc equals local minus w which will ask me for the password minus f and the file is users dot lift that's added and also add groups dot lift and now if I do an LDAP search, um, basically this is the same command, so I'll paste it in minus P. There you go, we have the demo user inside the group and the demo user 1 inside the group. And also we have demo user 2 inside people and you demo user 1 inside people. Cool. So we have basically created a structure something like this. So we have created a DC which is home.local. We have created some organizational units, people and group and we have created some users and added that to our organizational units. Cool. And that's it for the server side. So let's take a look if my firewall is running. It's not running, cool. So that's it for the server side. Now we'll go to the clients. And under clients, we need only one package which is called NSS PAM LDAP D. So I'm going to be installing these package to both of my clients. Okay, so that's installed on both of my clients. I will first go to VM02. And let's do auth config minus tui. Enter. So there you go. For user information, I'm gonna be selecting LDAP. For authentication, Kerberos. Next. Use TLS. No, because this is just a simple LDAP. It is, it is not LDAP S. So just for uh, simplicity of this demo, I'm using LDAP. Okay. The server is vmo1.home.local The DC is home and DC is local Next This is the realm Looks good Okay Okay, so that's done so Now if I take a look at ID to demo user one. There you go. So this user it's coming from LDAP. How do I know? So if you take a look at etc password, 
so there is no local user named demo user one so we have created this user on our LDAP server and this user it's coming from LDAP so how do we know that so if you take a look at you can say and a switch.conf and if you go down you see this password so these fields the first field it's referring to slash etc password it's saying that go and find the users from slash etc password this is a service which is triple sd and it's saying that go and refer ldap if you don't find users on this etc password files so there you go so if you do get end uh, password demo user one there you go that's the entry we have but if you do a less to it say password you won't say the demo user see there is no demo user here see grab demo user from etc password nothing but if you do get end that's gonna give you the user cool so that's the user and also if you say for demo user 2 we have it cool so that's working now we can do su to demo user 1 but there is this one problem it's saying that we don't have any home directory so it's not giving us any home directory and it's redirecting us to a bash shell so the next thing we have to do is we have to configure and create home directories for these LDAP users and auto mount that directories when they log in. So that we will do in the next video which is the third part of this video NFS and AutoFS service. Okay so as you see don't have any home directory. So let's go to VMO3 and do the same thing. Auto config CUI. Select LDAP for user information. Kerberos for user authentication. Next, LDAP server is vmo1.home.local and the DC is home and DC is local. Next, realm looks good. Okay. So now if you do a grep to demo user from etc password. We don't see any user but if I do id demo user1 there is this demo user1 and if I do to uh, su to demo user1 I can log in but I don't have a home directory. So the next video we will configure the home directory and we will auto mount that home directories of the LDAP users to uh, when they log in. So that's uh, the next video. See you there. Take care. Bye bye.